What's up, everyone? It's so great to see you. I'm Miss Megan. And I'm Amelia. And this is Time Travelers. My dancing alone is worth the price of admission, right? Yeah, sure, Mom. It's priceless. Ah, huh, well, I might not be the best dancer, but I'd like to think that what I lack in talent, I make up for in confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself as God sees you. Yeah, there are a lot of things that can make us feel confident, but do you know where true confidence comes from? Um, can I order it on Amazon? Amazon? No! <laughs> Funny, Mom. When you know how much God loves you, you could take on anything life throws your way. That's what gives you the confidence to be your true self. Interesting. And speaking of confidence, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Oh, you are, are you? Oh, yes. I know that I could do anything that comes my way with Confidence. Well, that's good because it's time to play the, the Wheel, Wheel of, of Dance, Dance Moves. Moves. Woo it's my favorite game. All right, me too. So for this game, we're going to each choose a dance move from the options on the Wheel of Dance and start dancing. Can our friends at home play too? Of course. Yes. Kids at home, you choose a dance move and start dancing too, like the Carlton or the Twist. Or maybe you're into flossing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're brushing our teeth now? I thought we were no, playing a game. No, no, mom. Flossing's a dance move like oh, this. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, anyways, when the spinner stops, if you match the dance move, you win a point. Ooh, I think I got it. All right, Good. are Let's we ready play. to play? All right, are you ready to choose our dance move? Oh, yes, I can't okay, wait. Okay, so friends at home, you get to choose one too. Let's go over the options we have. So we showed you the Carlton and the twist. Oh and the floss, and we also have the running man. We have the robot, beep, boop, beep, boop. And lastly, from everyone's favorite game, we have the orange justice. Oh, I can't do that one. I'm terrible at that one. <laughs> All right, are we ready to choose our dance move? I'm ready. Friends at home, you ready to choose? Let's choose it right now and spin the spinner. All right, let's go, go! What do we get? Twist! Oh, I won! You won! Yes. Five points for you, that's awesome! Yes. All right, choose a different dance move. You ready? Okay. Your marks, get set, go! The robot! Oh, I got it! Both won! 10,000 points for me! And yes! 10,000 points! I think I'm winning now. Okay. All right. Here we go. Another dance Another move. One. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. And go! The, the robot, robot again! Oh, we both lost. Oh, I'm wondering. Hey, I see one of our friends at home. Oh, he must have a couple we? of screws loose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them twenty thousand points 20, for getting 000. that one. Yes, wow. yes, yes. All right, how about one more round? Okay, one more. One more round. Okay, pick one. Okay, all I'm right. Ready. I got mine. All right, let's go. The floss. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Another ten thousand points for me. Oh, that was so fun. I think I won that time. Ooh, I'm sweaty and that was pretty challenging. <laughs> but it was so much fun too. How about if we do a quick recap of all the moves by putting them all together in a fun little dance. Oh, I love that. I hope we can remember all the dances. <laughs> Me too. Okay, I think we first did the twist. Okay. Everybody do the twist. And now let's do the robot. Meep, moop, meep, moop. Meep, 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 I think it was the robot again. Oh, robot, meep, 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 meep. And then it was the floss. Woo! <laughs> that was epic! Ooh, Sorry. Ouch, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. That was epic. Wow, so much fun. I feel so much more confident in my dance skills now, but I have to tell you, Mama's boogie shoes need a rest. <laughs> well, my mom takes a load off. Let's keep the fun going as we check in with our friend Graham. Take it away, Graham. You're the best around. Not gonna feel too good to do. Hey everybody, my name is Graham, and today I'm following in the groundbreaking footsteps of my ancestors. I'm making a mixtape. You see, back in olden times, when someone wanted to listen to music, they needed one of these cassette tapes. And if you were fortunate enough to have one of these dual cassette recorders with high speed dubbing, you could put up to 90 minutes of your favorite songs onto one rad mixtape. I'm making this mixtape for my friend Erica, who's been running a lot of 5Ks lately. 
the eye of the tiger. And I'm only picking super encouraging songs. That way, Erica will have confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't it be simpler just to make a playlist that Erica could listen to on her phone? Maybe, but this is all a part of the plan. My plan is to give this mixtape to Erica so she can listen to it while she's running. She probably doesn't have a tape player. So, so she'll borrow mine. And if she carries this thing around with her everywhere, she'll build up arm strength. Oh, I didn't say it was a good plan. Oh man. Another one bites the dust. Sometimes plans don't work out the way you expect. But as you'll see in today's story, sometimes there's a bigger and better plan. Oh, gotta switch to side two, I guess. How did people even survive back then? The Bible, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Joshua, chapters five, and six. For 40 years, God's people wandered the desert. At last, they reached the land that God had promised them. Joshua led them to the edge of the rushing Jordan River. The priests will carry the Ark of the Lord. The Ark was a beautiful chest that reminded the Israelites that God was with them. As soon as the priests step into the Jordan, it will stop flowing. Sure enough, as soon as the foot of the first priest touched the edge of the river, the waters parted. God's people crossed on dry land, just as God had led them through the Red Sea 40 years before. God did this so that all the nations on earth would know that He is powerful. Soon after, the Amorites and Canaanites living in the land had heard what God had done. Fearful, they retreated back to their towns, including the high-walled city of Jericho. Oh, great. Like, how do we fight them now? God will show us the way. That evening, Joshua left camp and snuck toward Jericho. The walls loomed impossibly strong. So tall. As he turned, Joshua saw a man standing nearby holding a sword. Who are you? Uh, are you on our side or the side of our enemies? I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Joshua knelt down face to the ground. What message does my Lord have for me? Take off your sandals. The place you are on is holy ground. Joshua tugged off his shoes. I have handed Jericho over to you. Joshua listened carefully as the Lord delivered a message, a battle plan unlike any other. Wow, uh, okay, uh, we'll do it, Lord. Joshua called for the priests. Get the Ark of the Covenant, and I need seven of you to march in front of the Ark with trumpets. Sorry, just warming up. <laughs> Joshua gathered the army too. Time to move out. <laughs> like, do we get to attack now? March around the city. Just, like, go in circles? Some of you march ahead of the Ark of the Lord, and the rest of you march behind. Can we at least shout and stuff? Hey, Jericho, you guys smell like cheese! Don't give a war cry or raise your voices until the day I tell you to shout. But the priests must blow their trumpets. Forward! March! The entire army, including the priests, marched one time around Jericho, just as the Lord had instructed Joshua. Now can we get them? Back to camp, men. We march again tomorrow. The next morning, the Israelites marched around the city once again. And then on day three, once again on day four, not to mention day five, and once again on day six. We march again at sunrise. Uh, I have blisters. At dawn on the seventh day, the army and priests formed their strange parade once more. But this time, once they finished marching around the city one time, Joshua called out. Keep marching. Again? My feet are killing me. The Lord has told me we must march around the city seven times today. On the seventh time around, the priests blew a long blast on their trumpets. 
Now shout! The Lord has given you the city! As the shouts of the Israelites rang out in the clear morning air, something incredible happened. The massive walls of Jericho began to tremble. The gates shivered and quaked. Jagged cracks ran through the heavy stones. Rocks began to tumble from the tops of the walls. Little rocks, large stones, giant boulders, until at last the walls collapsed, crashing in on themselves. The ground quaked and plumes of dust burst into the air. As the air cleared, the Israelites stared in amazement. The city of Jericho stood wide open. Take the city! With nothing standing in their way, the Israelites charged right in. That day, they completely defeated the city of Jericho. God was with Joshua, and he became well known everywhere in the land. When God told Joshua to take over the city of Jericho, Joshua probably thought of a battle plan. And I bet his battle plan didn't involve marching around the city wall for a week blowing trumpets. But Joshua followed God, and the Israelites took the city. He had confidence that God's plan was bigger and better. And that's not the only time God proved his plan was better. When Jesus, God's son, died on the cross, Jesus' disciples had to wonder, what is God thinking? Then in three days, when Jesus came back to life, it all became clear. God's plan is always better. The truth is, none of us know what the future holds. Your family might have to move out of the neighborhood or out of the state. You might get sick or break a bone. You might not get put on the team you tried out for. But when things don't go according to your plan, that's when you need to remind yourself, God's got you. You may not always know what God's plan is, but keep following him and have confidence that his plan is bigger and better. That's the one thing to remember today. God's plan is the best plan. My plan to make a mixtape for Erica is not the best plan. But it's still a lot of fun. Ah, oh. Oh no, it's unraveled. Oh wait, no worries. I've got an idea. Huh? Just like my ancestors. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Amelia, what is up with the horn? Well, I was inspired by the trumpet playing priests. Do you think if I keep practicing, I can sound just like them? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I think you'll get there. I'm confident about that. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> but you know, we can't always see how things will work out in God's plan. When the Israelites looked at the city of Jericho, all they could see was a wall, and a big one. They had to trust that God would do what he said he would do. It was the only way they could win and live in the land that God had promised for them. And the same goes for us. We can't always see what God is doing <laughs> with his plans, but God's plans are always, always better than ours. He can see things we can't see, and he is always working things out for our good. You know what, let's pray and ask God to help us trust his good plan for our lives. Would you pray for us, Amelia? I would love to. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, thank you for this amazing story about Joshua and the Israelites. Please help us trust you like they did. Help us trust your plans more than anyone else's. Show us your way and give us the courage to listen, just like Joshua did. We know that you have the absolute best plans for us and our lives. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and, and the, the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. <laughs> You know, trusting God's plan isn't always easy because sometimes we can only see one little tiny part of God's plan. And in those times, we have to just trust, obey, and have faith. And that's the hard part when you can't figure it all out. Still, even when it's hard, if you keep following God and living His way, you can have confidence in Him. You can trust that His plan is always best. But until next time, remember, God's plan is always the best plan. And speaking of a good plan, let's plan to meet here, same time, same place, in Time, time Travelers! Travelers! Ooh, you're getting much better. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs>